We've got a, a hurricane, a Cat 1, making landfall right there at St. Mary's Parish in Terrebonne. That is where Rob Krieger is. He is in Terrebonne, outside the flood protection and, system right along the coast as this comes in. And literally, if, as you're looking at this, uh, the Viper radar, I mean, he's in the, the worst of that. You see that, you know, heavy, heavy red there. And let's try to go back to Rob because uh, it looks like we've reestablished contact. Yeah, hey, y'all, sorry about that. Yeah, we ha having a little issues here with just get, uh, getting that signal out to you, but the rain is driving. It uh, feels like needles hitting your skin, uh, so it's really pounding through here. Uh, take a look behind here. You can look at the, the water. Take a look at that water, Steve. You can kind of see the little wisps of wind. I say little. Those are huge wisps of wind uh, that are uh, coming up over uh, that area. Over the water, it just really shows you that power and impact of the wind that we're seeing. Uh, but again, that driving rain, it, it feels like little spikes hitting your skin right there. Uh, we are, again, in Dula, uh, Dularge, uh, just south of the Falgu Canal, uh, right where we believe this, uh, this storm is making its landfall right now. So the very worst impacts of the storm are felt here. Um, and, and, and it certainly is, this is tropical storm. Uh, conditions right now the driving rain that intense wind uh it's 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 howling through the air right here it's just something that uh is really sort of unima unimaginable we're trying to bring it to you here showing you what's what's going on thankfully uh you know it's <laughs> It's not any stronger. It isn't at category two, which would have been even stronger winds, but those winds of 90 miles an hour to uh, uh, put even potential gusts of 100 miles an hour uh, makes it really difficult to kind of look directly into the storm. But we're gonna uh, show you what's happening here on the other side of the levee protection system here in Terrebonne Parish. And you can see that water um, just starting to come up there with the surge as it, uh, as it, as it begins to rise just a little bit there it's not uh it's not significant enough to where we believe that it's going to impact uh the the parish of terrebonne in any significant way we uh spoke again with the director of uh the terrebonne parish uh levy management district she tells me that they believe that this system uh will hold up tight to francine but again this is the gulf that's the water right there this is uh what we've been waiting for here uh through the Woo! Oh, those winds are incredibly strong right there. But this is what we've been waiting for, uh, telling you about Francine coming in through here. So as we see that storm uh, really push in on that solid track, uh, it's directly into Terrebonne Parish. Uh, this area is going to feel the worst of the impacts, and it's going to continue in through the parish as well. So make sure that you uh, are prepared for that because we could see. There you go. I don't know if y'all saw that. You saw um, our oof. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. This is probably some of the most tremendous conditions that I've reported in ever here uh, in Terrebonne Parish, or really anywhere along southeast Louisiana. The wind is incredibly strong right now, just almost holding me up as I lean uh, there. And that driving rain coming in, pelting us as we uh, continue to ride out this wall. That's. It, it, a white wall uh, here as it comes through this area. Difficult to see uh, even about 200 yards that way, uh, another couple hundred yards that way. It's uh, The conditions have just massively dropped here. All right, that's uh, Rob Krieger. He's okay down there, y'all. He's going to go get back in the car.